I'll be honest, before you explained yourself, I asked you, like, what games do you play? You're like, Osu. <laughs> he plays Osu, <laughs> a game that an i3, one core CPU, and a GTX 710 from 2012 can run. I'm like, why does he need a 39? And then he's like, oh, I need it for my, for my workload. And I'm like, mm. Mm. <laughs> this is Elliot, also known as Kernion. A while back, I was in the market for a new PC, and I happened to come across his hardware swap thread. This rig was everything I was looking for, but the fact that he was local to my city made it even better. Unfortunately, the reason he was selling it was because of massive amounts of medical debt that resulted from a surgical accident at no fault of his own. Even after selling his rig to me, he was still thousands in debt until today. Thanks to today's video sponsor, Manscaped, along with all the donations we made during that stream, we were able to not only wipe his medical bills, but also build a brand new rig from the ground up just for him. This video is a long one, and it's well worth it. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. Unless you're new to the channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of Manscaped and have been using them for my manscaping needs even before they sponsored this channel. Well, I'm excited to share that Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the new Lawn Mower 4.0. This thing is incredible. With it being completely cordless and waterproof, you can shave even in the shower for a super convenient and easy cleanup. It literally has no ports and charges wirelessly using the stand that it comes with. With a completely new design, it comes with completely new features, including a travel lock that can be enabled with its multifunction on-off switch. Let's just say that before Manscaped, my old tools came with its fair share of casualties. But the Lawnmower 4.0 makes that a non-issue with its skin-safe technology. Plus, there's a certain relief that comes with sticking with the best. Right now, you can get 20% off plus free shipping using promo code BTMC at Manscaped.com. I trust their products so much that I gave the 4.0 that Manscaped gave me to Elliot, and I purchased another one using my own money. Hopefully that's enough to say something. Huge thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Bros. This is dumb. I was hoping that I could just do a quick IRL stream using the backpack since I have like the Synapse server set up. But no, apparently not. Ugh. Balls. The only other way that I can make this work is if I use obs.ninja and use my fucking iPad. And that's what we're gonna do. The, the PC is downstairs, and I'm gonna show you guys the entire haul of what we got. It was fucking crazy. You wanna, you wanna see what I'm using? Good morning. This is me. Anyways, um, last night, me, my brother, and Ethan went over to pick up the goods. Holy shit. So I told you guys about the PC, right? But what's also thrown in is a fully decked out flight simulator rig and a Samsung Odyssey monitor. The monitor uh, and also a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse. It's the G Pro Wireless and one of uh, their uh, low profile Romer G Switch keyboard things. So, in total, this was $5,440. bucks. That's what I paid for all of this. Dude, I didn't realize this. I thought this was a custom water cooling block. This is a 3090 that has a water block pre-installed on it that's absurd you can never find these things anywhere like that's fucked this is the system we drained out most of the water but we figured since it's only like a couple minutes of a drive it wouldn't be too bad if we just drained out half of the system but this is the custom cooling rig gtx no rtx 3090 um, Ryzen 5 5950X, an Asus Crossfire uh, 8, Dark Hero Motherboard, 32 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz RAM, um, the whole shebang, basically. The only thing we need to do in order to set this up is actually put the fluid back in. 
as soon as we do that this should be ready to honestly just boot up and start installing shit on why did you buy a new pc i thought you said you did not need one i didn't exactly need one right now but i was waiting for an opportunity where like the market would settle so i could buy parts for a new one but this pc came on the market that he's willing to just let go under market value which is already insane completely built and like right next door are you fucking kidding me i was actually talking with the dude on on how the hell he was able to source these parts because these parts are so rare like even if you wanted to build this pc you can't because it's out of stock everywhere like the way that he was able to get that gpu is because he knew a moderator for a subreddit a gaming subreddit who knew a person at EVGA. That's the only way he was able to get that GPU. And now I have it. All right, here's the deal, dudes. I want this to be like high quality, very nice. So I'm going to bust out the A7S Mark III, all right? Yes. Chat, you can now precisely see just how fucking dirty my room is. Do you see all the crust? Holy fuck. Oh, all right, chat. If you hear me drop something, just understand that five grand erupted into flames. Oh my god, it's so heavy. My shoe is untied. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna pull up the video that Elliot sent me. So yeah, so, so you see uh, how this dude is filling up the reservoir, then powering on the PC to to have it, the pump send the water everywhere out. Does that make sense? Also, I saw Elliot send a message earlier. Hold on a sec. <clears throat> It was over 6K and everything is brand new. Also, make sure to let the PC run for a while with the fill port open so you can get the air bubbles out. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. That's going to be super useful. You need something like this for the board power. Power supply jumper bridge? The fuck is that used for? Chat, what is this? Oh, wait. I'm still in the face cam. Hey. Chat, what the hell is it? Oh, wait. Is this a piece that I need that I don't have right now? All right. <clears throat> it has become apparent that perhaps we do actually need some assistance. <laughs> he asked if he can come. Dude, I'll just drive over and pick him up. I'm ready. All right, bro. All right. Chat, can you hear us? We have arrived. Hello? Hello? Okay, we're good. What's up, friend? Why are you guys spamming? Nice to see you feeling better. Holy shit, dude. Okay. Let's bring this back. Alright, chat. This is Elliot. This is the dude who sold me the PC. What's up? Yep. So he's gonna help us out to actually like get this thing actually set up. Of course you have lights here, but you have no lights going there. Yeah, I mean we could probably move one of the lights. <laughs> Chat, I am average height. Don't talk shit, okay? Chat. Where's that microfiber? Because, like, this dust is bothering me. Right, um, it is, uh, it's in my room because I believe it was in the Asus box. What in the world is this? Why do you have a supreme, br you know what? <laughs> There's a funny story with that. <laughs> but yeah, there's a really cool story with that. Anyways. Yeah, you'll, you'll tell me later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, the microfiber cloth. Just to get that taken care of. Yo, he's gone again. What do you guys want me to do? I have full control right now. Hey, this guy's pretty legit, though. Super nice. Like, he's one of those guys that, like, even off-stream, super friendly, tons of energy. 
just want to give him a shout out. Awesome. They're telling me to drink your G Fuel. <laughs> Chaz, so basically, like, if you look closely, like, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. But down here, I'm not supposed to let the 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 coolant reach all the way at the bottom because then the pump is gonna suck in air and push air throughout the system. All right, I still see some bubbles. The bubbles. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It should be okay for a little bit. One or two seconds isn't a big deal, but uh oh. I let go of the of the power supply. See, I'm glad it came over because. Uh, yep. <laughs> I'm assuming there's going to be air bubbles inside the coolant now because of that. Yeah, n now you just took that 10 minutes of debubbling into like 30, but it's okay. <laughs> no, 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 that was intentional. Now we have more time to talk. <laughs> yeah, we might need a little more. Yeah, I think we just need a tiny yeah, bit Yeah, we can just get a little... We don't even have to add coolant. We can just put distilled water in. Oh my god, Chad, look at my hand. <laughs> yeah, you should... Uh... Don't you have a tournament tomorrow? Yeah, the worst part about it is it's Osu Speed Cup. Okay, worth it. Oh my, like, yeah, okay. Oh, that's, that's my enough, knees! That's, that's enough for oh. you. Okay, you can have the chair. Okay, my legs are shaking. Holy fuck. Dude, I never use my legs. Oh, oh so you use your palm to push it in. That's smart. We already know I was smart, though. That's true. Wait, what are you studying? Uh, intelligence studies. Intelligence studies? Is I want to... I probably shouldn't say what I want to do in front of like 2,000 people. I remember when I was graduating high school, I was thinking of going to a college nearby. A certain big college nearby? Yes, a certain big college uh, nearby. I know this certain big college. <laughs> <laughs> now we just wait for like 20, 30 minutes. Sick. Because it, there's going to be little micro bubbles, so it's going to take a while for it to get the doll out. All right, chat. I think the only thing we can do now is just like right. wait around. Should we could like. Get the story, like... Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need, I need a chair, though. Um... Yeah. I'll get a comfy chair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just uh, go all the way to the beginning of how we basically met, right? I went on r slash hardware swap, and I saw, like, this 3090 yeah. was the first thing that caught my eye. And I was like, holy shit. Except I got to it late. It was like nine hours into the thread. Yeah, I'm surprised you ended up getting it, because yeah. multiple people... One guy was going to fly from Chicago, buy two, 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 two seats in the plane, and it and oh, yeah. put the put the computer next to him. He was serious flight. about that? Yeah, I guess so. And then there was another guy from like Ohio that was gonna drive all the way. But like I I I'm like a firm believer in like like whoever like gets to me first and like gives me their word, I give them my word. Uh -huh. So like you gave me your word first before they could get back to me. Mm -hmm. So I obviously gave it to you. And then after you gave me your word, other people were like, I want this. And I'm like, sorry, it's, it's sold. But Holy shit, dude. So thank you. Of course. Yeah, I looked at all the specs and uh, it was unbelievable. And I got uh, a bunch of other friends to also input on it. I'm like, wait, this is crazy. And I've talked on stream before about like getting a new setup because the reason why I wanted a new PC or to build a new PC was to downgrade these two setups. Because nowadays with, uh, I forgot what it's called, there's like a dedicated encoding chip. Hardware encoding rather than software encoding okay, through the CPU. Gotcha. So that's the reason why I want to upgrade. Because the entire reason why I have these two PCs is uh, to have one entire PC dedicated just for, for yeah, streaming. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, before you explained yourself, and you're, I asked you, like, what games do you play? You're like, Osu? <laughs> the, I play Microsoft Flight Simulator. Which requires like 15 times the processing, no, like 100 times the processing power of Osu. My head I was thinking, he plays Osu, <laughs> a game that an i3, one core CPU, and a GTX 710 from 2012 can run at 144 frames. Yeah. I'm like, why does he need a 39? And then he's like, oh, I need it for my, for my workload. And I'm like, mm, okay. mm. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest. Thing that that stood out to me was the fact that you were in Virginia. Same, like and in, in the same, yeah, in the same city. Yeah, like that blew my mind. It's all just Liberty students and old people. Yeah, and, that's well, all and it what's is. even more crazy about that is, I'm not even supposed to be in Virginia. Really? I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. I flew into D.C. to see my then girlfriend uh -huh. last June, 
and got into a car accident, a really bad car accident when um, leaving the airport. And because of the circumstances um, and how bad, bad the situation was and just how stressful it was, I was like, I'm moving here. I decided overnight, told my boss at work. I wasn't, I wasn't in college then. I was working at a car dealership. Uh -huh. um, I was living alone in an apartment. I told my, told my workplace, my coworkers, I said, I'm moving to Virginia. Um, like, you know, I love you guys, and then started a new life here. Applied to school, in school now. Wait, how old are you? 20. 20? 20. 20, yeah. yeah. A month apart. That's insane! So we would have been in the same graduating class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I skipped a grade in kindergarten, so I was always the youngest in my class, so I graduated I, yeah, at seven. I'm the youngest, too. Wait, that's insane! Right, yeah. What? Let's go! Um, that entire thread, with the hardware swaps uh, thread, was basically how I found this offer and how I uh, got in contact with you. But I was looking into uh, some of the comments, and you mentioned the reason why you were selling the PC was because of medical stuff, uh, medical bills. And you were talking how you literally just built this PC, and you now have to got, uh, get rid of it, mm -hmm. right? I knew I was having a surgery coming up, so I wanted to start it because I right. knew it'd be weak. And this was before I knew that they would have all the complications. Uh -huh. So I stay. I worked on it for 12 hours straight before my surgery, and got like. 80% done, did all the tube bending, had my surgery, and then that's when I had all the complications. And then the PC just sat for like a week straight. And the then, complications being like, there was like a, a, an accident with like, so they nicked an artery? Yeah, so I came back, and it's it, it's even more depressing because I came back from the hospital, like, and I felt like really weak, which was expected, but it was just sitting on my desk uh -huh. with everything just looking at me, and I really wanted to finish it, but I didn't have the strength to finish it. Right. So I decided to take a nap. So when he cut the tonsils out, he unknowingly nicked an artery in my throat, but because of like whatever they do, um, like the, he, they stopped the bleeding at the hospital for the original surgery, and they didn't realize that um, there was a nicked artery, but when I went home, I must have I must have started snoring or something, which aggravated it, and that's all it took. And it, the, the artery ruptured, and then I woke up coughing, and I was for like five seconds I was confused what was going on, and then I started like I couldn't. It was coming out so fast. I, I won't get too graphic because I don't. It's really gross, but. Um, I woke up in my room, I had my blinds on and it was dark and I was coughing and I was really confused at first and then five, six later I was like, oh, that's blood, because I couldn't smell or taste because of the surgery uh -huh. and I like, so I like spit out on my blanket and then I, I was like, oh god, and then, so I like um, ran outside and called 911 and by the time the ambulance came, so they had to, th normally they give you your clothes back at the hospital because they have to because it's your property, uh -huh. they wouldn't give my shirt back because they said it was a biohazard. Both um, sleeves were soaked because I kept wiping, completely soaked. Um, my face was full. I had, I had spots, lots of blood on my shorts. Um, you can still see, I tried to get it off, but there was like, a, I dripped blood on my shoes. Yeah, I can see it. I'd rather not show yeah, that yeah. to the cam though. Yeah, no, no, no. But the weirdest thing about it is they like they made me sign a consent form for a transfusion uh -huh. and they were like we're going to transfuse you but then they decided not to what i don't understand is why in like america do you, why do you have to sign all the papers when you're dying like, <laughs> i'm like they're really be the operator room they're like what here you go sign this one this is wait, 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 wait. yeah and i'm Seriously? like i'm like fix me fix me they're like sign this for anesthesia sign this for transfusion i'm like no let's go <laughs> So they're like, okay, like, uh, ENT docs, on, like, he's coming right now, like, and I'm like, I'm dying, like, why did he, just, just put me, just, just do it! I was, that's why I told him, like, I was like, you guys gotta go fast, they're like, they're, they're, I think they gave me drugs, so it was kind of loopy, I was like, you guys, because it was really cool, I was like, you guys gotta go fast, I was like, I'm gonna pass now, you guys gotta go fast, like, it's okay, honey, we just need you to sign this for the <laughs> anesthesia, and I'm like, and, and I was so confused, I was like, what? And then finally they, they stuck like the mask on me, and then, and then I don't remember anything. But I woke up, they said they had to like cauterize everything like in my throat. What's cauterizing? It means they like, they, they stop the bleeding by burning the flesh. What? Yeah, that's the only way they could do it. You can't like suture a, an artery or a throat, so they had to like burn it in my throat. I can't, I still can't open my jaw all the way like I, I hug as far as I can do it because they like, I don't know. 
Holy shit, you've been through so much literally within the past yeah, like that's crazy. weeks. What I will say, all even worse than the throat, is because my body went under so much stress, my bladder stopped working. So they had to fully catheter me for four days. What does that mean? It means that um, you have a silicon tube shoved up your penis <laughs> and you can't pee on your own anymore. And you know, they didn't do it right away. They decided they wanted to try and make my body start working naturally again. But it wasn't working, so they did, te they did a temporary one, shoved that in, waited a couple hours, bladder stills were shoved it in again, took it out. Then the, then the third time, they're like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna shove this really big one in, and then it'll stay in. <laughs> okay, you can stop right there! Holy fuck! That was the worst part. I didn't, yeah. I can imagine. Oh, cause also, you have to walk around with a bag of pee. Because it, you, you For like data analysis, or like an analysis or something? I think, uh, I don't think you've quite fully grasped it yet. Because there's a tube in you, it keeps your bladder open at all times, so it can keep draining itself. So, because you're not at the toilet at all oh, times, so it you have drains to have a bag out of the... piss with you at all times! <laughs> Holy fuck! You have like a portable bathroom just attached yes, to you! Yes! Yep, so, I mean, imagine like me being a college student coming back to, because I had it for two days on campus. Come back to campus, you just have a tube coming out of your body with a bag. Like, you know how, like, humiliating that is? Like, oh yeah, I'm just walk around with my piss bag. I <laughs> um, got sent home and um, had, like, five doctor's appointments in, like, three different days. And then finally, like, this this Tuesday, mm -hmm. so on Tuesday of this week, right. my doctor said, like, you're, you're safe. Everything is healed to the point where you, that you're not going to have any more hemorrhaging. Now here I am. And then, so as far as the PC goes, when I got my strength, I finished the two builds, slapped it together, <sighs> turned it on, you know, like everything was good, and then... So like, as soon as you were fully recovered, you just went back into this thing? Yeah, and that, that was, and that was, I still thought like I was going to keep it, and then now like a couple of weeks have passed, and like, I really wanted to like justify keeping it, I even told my friend like, right, right after I posted, I'm like, like, maybe I'll just keep it and like let my like bills go to collections. Someone was telling me like it wouldn't be a big deal if that happened, but like I would I really like want to Accomplish a lot in the next few years and right. if I have like bills weighing me down I'm not gonna be able to do that. Right. So I knew like in the back of my head I had some savings at like a couple thousand which is like gone now obviously but like I knew like the the most the thing that I knew what I had to do was sell it. Yeah, so I put it on hardware, swapped and then boom, got all the attention. And then like obviously you contacted me. Mm -hmm. Um I like I'll be honest, like I like when you came I'm really happy it went to you because I can tell it's like going to a good home, but I'm like when you came to pick it up I was like so close to crying because like so much like blood literally blood, sweat and tears went into this. Right. And I don't, like, I don't at all regret selling it to you now because of what happened. Like, so much good has also come out of this. I, because right now I have my phone and I have a Chromebook for school, and that's it. It'd be way worse. So you're worse. still in debt even yeah. after selling this yeah. PC? Yeah, to about 2.8 case. But it, it could be worse, so, so you know what I mean? Just to emphasize, you sold basically everything. Everything, yeah. Besides, so I sold, my old, I sold my old rig, I sold my new rig. That's everything I had left to sell. You saw how bare bones my room was. Yeah. I sold everything that I could. I'm grateful for like everyone's response. Really, it's it's been really humbling to just because honestly, like one thing that you don't realize comes with accidents like these is the mental impact. Right. When you literally see your like life flash between your eyes, and I'm gonna be really cheesy here because this is actually how it is. When you when that happens to you you it just destroys you self mentally a little bit like i wake up and i'm scared because like i woke up choking on blood you just you're traumatized and so that's been like really the biggest thing to overcome like oh you know having a catheter like i can laugh about that now that didn't play any risk to me like what i you know and going through all that stuff like all that pain like is gone now and like i'm you know i have very minimal pain but like the mental side sticks with you right because 
I think it's, and I, I don't think it's just because this one thing. I think it's like a culmination because I, the, so much happened in such a short period of time. Because in June I was in the car accident, in November I was in the ICU, and then now in April I was in the ICU again. But things are good. Like th this is awesome. I mean, like, I'm, I'm really like really happy right now. Like just to be able to, honestly, like the biggest thing is I wanted to help you, but I also just wanted to like be here, like. Mm -hmm with the PC, like, just, I, you know, I had nothing going on. I me. mean, it definitely goes both ways, because I, I do want to find a way, and I have some ideas in chat, we'll, we'll talk about it later, but I have some ideas on how to make sure that we can help alleviate some of this burden. That, that's awesome. I'm, I'm super happy to hear that you have the PC part of it taken Thank care you. of, but I'll try to take a look at how we can get the rest of the Thank you. Rest that, of that, that mean so taken much. care of. Yeah, that means so much. Awesome. awesome. Can you show it to them? I think, yeah, that's that's fine. You're giving the short end of the stick. And so that's... There's that sucks. I'm going to say it one more time. I think now we can focus more on moving forward, because yeah. I feel like, assuming what your doctor said like, is, is, is true, yeah. that you're cool, yeah. we can finally start moving past this and yeah, hopefully absolutely. turning this into something a lot better. Yeah. And I mean, maybe even a blessing. That, I, yeah, every, I mean, like, everything about today has been positive, so... Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking is, because I want to start a sort of fundraiser, right? Because mm -hmm. I feel like that would be one of the best ways to really get you that help, right? Because that story is, it's it's impactful, right? Right. And I feel like a lot of other people would resonate with that. It certainly resonated with the people in this chat here. The first thing that came to my mind is turning this into a video, getting it sponsored. And literally, I can just give all that sponsorship money to you, because that'll cover everything. Chat. I, I, I see a lot of donations coming in. I'll make sure that every single donation from the stream and maybe even every single sub, if I can get that calculated, will go towards this as well. I, this entire day has been a blessing in itself. I mean, well, and this I is just sure awesome, too. Awesome. Like, I mean, like, I, look how fast the chat is going. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just, they love you, dude. It's cool to see, like, so much energy and, like, hype. Because <laughs> not only, like, and obviously, it's awesome. well, awesome. well, obviously, like, it sucks to talk about that, but this is just so cool to, like, I never thought that this would be my, like, my design would be featured mm -hmm. in front of so many people. Right. You know what I mean? <sighs> okay. Let's, I want to get this done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's finish this up. Right. The chat, just to be transparent, if we're still doing the first plan of making a video out of this, then, um, I guess most of the donations will go towards his a new PC, and the sponsor itself for the video will go towards his medical bills. So, I think that'll be the plan. So, if you're wondering what you're donating for, there it is. Wait, 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 I'm you shave your balls, right? Holy shit! I know it's fancy. I use, I have to be so delicate because I use like a no standard electric trimmer with the barbs exposed. So I have to be really careful. So I think what you're trying to tell me is that I need to use better equipment. Have you heard of Manscaped? I have heard of Manscaped. I might be able to hook you up. Thank you. Don't <laughs> worry, I got you, dude.